Hey you guys, Matt Allen, Tim Little, welcome back to Tactical Bassin and welcome to the 2020 Buyer's Guide series. Today, day one, we're talking rod and reel combos around $100. Buyer's guides are finally here. For you guys that are new to the channel, this is something we do around this time of year every year. We're all looking for tackle. Guys are stocking up, going to winter for next year. Holidays are coming. Families are buying gear for each other. This time of year, we break down rods and reels, baits, gear, all sorts of different things so that you can make wise decisions going through the holidays. So kicking it off today, hundred dollar rod and reel combos we choose that hundred dollar price point for a reason it's because in the past well really in the past it used to be the two hundred dollar price point was where you saw a significant leap from those just bare bones rods you could take them off of any end rack that will get you by and an actual quality bass rod the last few years companies have put a lot more time and energy into that $50 rod, $50 reel. They've really elevated them. And now that's where that quality gear starts. So that's where we're beginning. Yeah, 2020 has been a crazy year. Uh, it's allowed us to uh, try a lot of stuff, branch out a lot of stuff that we normally throw wasn't available. Yeah. So we assume that's how this shopping year is gonna be. A lot of it's gonna be behind the computer, not a lot of uh, you know stores open. So. We love doing these buyers guys. We get questions all the time. You know, I have this much money. What should I get? Should I get this rod, this reel, this bait, whatever. So this entire series is for you guys. We're kicking it off with the hundred dollar combo and then we'll go up and up and up every day for the next several days. So not just three days a week, every day. we're doing every day. So tomorrow will be $200 combos and then up and up and up. So stick around. We got everything covered for you guys. But today, hundred dollar combos. I'm starting with the Riker by Denali Rods paired up with a Luz classic pro i got to spend a lot of time with this this year uh doing our kayak expeditions you know floating down the rivers chasing smallmouth and uh, i had this rod paired up with um with a whopper plopper i did a little bit of cranking on it but the entire riker series was great it's a little bit shorter rod so it worked really well on the kayak a little bit more of a moderate action rod so it loaded up on those power fishing techniques the, the top waters the crankbaits and then like i said i paired that up with that that lose reel braid it's a leader, very, you know, very easy to cast. What really stood out to me uh, for this specific reel at this price point is the exterior braking system. A lot of the other reels at this price point don't have that. So now when you get your reel, you put your line on, you make your first cast, you blow it up. Uh, now, <laughs> now you can adjust uh, just your entire braking system without having to pop the entire reel off, uh, side plate off and open your reel up. So very, very cool combo right around $100. I think it's 59 and 54 or something like that. Nice. All right, my first one, Shimano Celis paired with an Abu Garcia Black Max. Now, why did I go this route? Much like Tim, the Celis, it's got that more parabolic action. They load deeper into the rods, which makes them great for power fishing, reaction fishing, those techniques where you really want to load up that rod and see it bow up on those fish. It's excellent for all of that. I went with a Black Max for a very specific reason. As we get into this price point, you start to see longevity mm -hmm. in the tackle. You start seeing a difference in how long that gear is going to last. The Black Max is one of those reels that just takes a beating. Every Black Max I've ever gotten, they're not the smoothest reel I've ever used. You know, it's not a super high-end reel. So it's not that buttery smooth feel per se. But once you start fishing with them, they just never change. They never like break down. They never get destroyed. They just keep going strong year over year. And that is really hard to find at any reel, let alone at this price point. Those are reels that just stand up and take a beating. It also has some external adjustment, just like Tim mentioned. And you touched on one other thing. You said braid. I won't even talk about it, but why don't you talk about braid again and, and the yeah. advantage of that at this this price point price point yeah so all this gear you can see there's a lot of different brands here and uh we like i said we got to branch out and, and fish a lot of stuff this year that weren't you know the stuff we normally fish but just 
quite honestly, wasn't available. Right. So, but what I will say is we fish a lot of stuff. And, and when we <laughs> get these questions throughout the year, uh, we want to come with, be confident and recommend products that we have spent time with, have, you know, tried out, put through the ringer, make sure they don't break, make sure they work well. So be confident in your purchases. We have a lot of confidence in this gear. Mm -hmm. And you can see there's a bunch of different brands, um, but braid specifically. So uh, I actually grabbed a spinning rod because now that you're as an angler are taking the next step up, you're not just buying the, the Walmart special gear. Now you're getting into some nicer gear with more longevity. Uh, you're going to need a spinning rod, you know, for all your finesse mm -hmm. techniques, your, your shaky heads, your drop shots, your Ned rigs, your, your weightless Senkos, all that. So I went with a, uh, a spinning rod. The rest are casting, but a spinning rod, this is the Daiwa aired x series uh, i paired that up with a revros 2500 and uh, again this is going to cover all of your finesse techniques throw in a couple of these other bait casters and you guys will be set but this guy right here put some braid on there uh, braid to leader four card four carbon leader braid will instantly increase your sensitivity as you're going up in price point you're getting more sensitive blanks but a braid is the number one thing that you can do as a fisherman to increase your sensitivity no matter which rod you have so this combo right here paired up with some 10 or 12 pound braid with your six to eight 10 pound fluorocarbon you'll be able to fish all those smaller finesse techniques you nailed it yeah taking braid and putting it on any of these rods will take a 50 dollar rod and turn it into a hundred dollar rod but you can do the same thing to a hundred dollar rod turn it into a 200 dollar rod and so on it just elevates that rod so that's something you need to do now my last one I'm cheating the system a little bit. If, always. if you guys have watched our buyer's guides in years past, I always kind of push the limit on price point. So Tim mentioned we're doing videos every single day. Today's $100 combos, tomorrow's $200 combos, then $400. Some people want to make that leap, but you can't quite jump to the $200 combo. We get it. There are a lot of reasons that you should do it, but you can't. So this one is in between. And I wanted to show you the advantage, the difference that a little bit more will get you. So these were all between like a hundred and a hundred and ten dollars, somewhere right around there. This is a hundred and sixty bucks. So eighty dollars in the rod, eighty dollars in the reel. What do you get for that if you spend a little bit more? So the rod is a Dobbins Colt. We're paired to a thirteen fishing Origin A. What you gain is that you start getting more specific action. So the Colt, as an example, they offer a cranking rod and it's a great cranking rod. I've had it on the boat for years, caught a ton of fish on it, caught some big fish on it and just never had an issue. It loads up extremely well, especially considering it's a $79 rod. So you get more specific in the actions and you can really start to dial in your gear. The reel there are two things about this specific reel that I chose it for. One is that it's got great casting distance. It will cast a long way. Number two, and very important to me, is the drag. So let me back this drag down to where it's loose. All right, let me start tightening this drag for you. Most reels have a little bit of drag adjustment, obviously. This is ridiculous. You can dial this thing in so far to any bait. It has an incredible drag adjustment at any price point, let alone at 80 bucks. So this reel, you can dial that drag in where you can throw finesse baits on it, or you can lock it down and you could frog with it. You can flip with it. You can throw a jig on it. You can really dial in some of those power fishing techniques. And that's a big step as you move up what 25 30 dollars it's a big difference so that is what you gain with that jump yeah we're excited like i said we love doing these buyer's guides uh you know tomorrow's video is gonna be the 200 dollars combo so you'll see more technique specific stuff but all this right mm -hmm. here 100 dollars price point this stuff will last we have a ton of confidence we fish it we've used it and we can recommend it with confidence if you guys have any questions, please leave those down below in the comment section. We'll try to get those as mm -hmm. soon as possible. We are pumping out these videos to try and get all this stuff in during every the day, man. Yeah, during the holiday season. So, so bear with us. But uh, leave those down below in the comment section. If you guys like this video, give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe oh. to our channel. One other thing, all of this gear will be linked in the video description. 
We'll give you the rods, the reels. We will also give you with each one of them our favorite models. We'll link that in the description because that's what this is about. Helping you choose the standouts, right? These, these specific rods, each one of these is a standout in its price point. But within every line of rods, there are standout models as well. And we'll leave that in the description so that you guys have no guesswork. Uh, we've put a lot of time on this gear. We've found those models and that's what we'll put there for you. Yeah, I'm glad you, you said that because the whole purpose of these buyer's guides is for the non-fisherman family member or friend to be able to buy you what you want for the holidays. We know that fishermen, my, my, my wife says all the time, you're so hard to buy. You know, I don't know. <laughs> We understand that fishermen are hard to buy for, right? So if you have a family member, parent, or spouse, or girlfriend, whatever, you, you can send this video to them. The links will be all listed. You can tell them what you want, and now you can get what you actually want in fishing gear and tackle this holiday season. But if you guys haven't already, please subscribe. Turn on notifications. Again, we're doing videos every day this week and maybe past that. Yep. So stick around, and we'll see you tomorrow. Guys, if you like this video, again, thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. We'll see you soon.